Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is XMafia, and today what I have for you is a project that I've been working on uh, for quite some time, actually. Well, if you think about it, not really that long. I'm, I've been, like, grinding this out. I've been playing this for about a week. Uh, I've been doing this for about a week. Uh, and I've had some help with my friend, uh, Loki. Uh, he's been helping me out a lot, so thank you. And, uh, yeah, so this is a cinema that I've been working on, and it is massive. Uh, I don't know how I got it done so quickly. Uh, maybe it's because of all the all the slash fills that I could use. So glad the bedrock is a thing. But yeah, so let's get straight into it. Let's get get it started. So we just have a uh, car park just out the front. It's pretty big. Uh, I'm, I might be planning to uh, to extend it out and maybe add a road road going that way and having some other buildings. But uh, yeah, we'll see what what time brings us. So. This is the main the main complex. Uh, it's called Ratplex. Uh, it's it's just an inside joke. Not really. It's just, I don't I don't really know. My my friend's skin is a mole rat, so that that's why I named it Ratplex. So yeah, Ratplex Cinemas. And there's two buildings inside of this complex. It's a it's the cinema of course, and then you got the bowling alley, which I'll show you first. Uh, and it's just because it's the least exciting out of the the whole thing but you just have an arcade in here you have like some some machines which you can do this with i don't know you have like the ticket stand where you can pick out a prize and most of them are really lame you will, you will spend ages getting tickets and then you will get like nothing nothing good and you just have like one of these basketball places uh with this texture pack and the, this is like the best i could do as a timer like, you know these little mini games where you just, you just, yeah, you play basketball. And some more arcade machines. And, yeah, you got some tables to sit on. Here is the, like, the desk. I made sure it's as realistic as possible with this entire build, not just, like, the bowling alley, the entire world. Uh, so you got the, the place where you get the shoes, actually. So you can go in here, you can ask for your shoes, and then you can go down and bowl, whatever. And you know you got a staff room, not that exciting. Just you know, I like to make things as realistic as possible. So of course there'll be a staff room and like a kitchen, whatever, because you gotta have your food. And nothing really exciting. I do like this this wall mural sort of design that I did. Uh, it's just rainbow sort of. I don't know, no particular reason. Just thought it would look cool, and it came out fine. And yeah, this is just what you'd see in an average bowling alley. And then you'd, you'd bowl, basically, and you got the TVs. Uh, I try to make some trophies up here from, like, events, because, you know, bowling is a sport, and it, you can you can bowl, and there's, like, tournaments and stuff, and battle is, like, the best thing I could think of for a trophy. And you have the back rooms, not not the creepy pasta or whatever, but, or SCP, creepy pasta or whatever, but just the rooms out the back. And this is like when where the ball would not yeah the ball would come here pins would come here and there's nothing really underneath this this is just the dropper whatever just to make it seem realistic and then just some bathrooms like male female you get the gist and that's basically it not too much to it but i really like it and it adds an aesthetic to the build and you have the cinema arcade which originally I just intended this to be, and then I just decided to add the uh, the bowling alley right next to it. So that's I'm definitely glad I did that. So now you get to the entrance of the place, and you have just like I didn't really put anything on them, but these are meant to be the, the like billboard sort of like posters, posters not billboards of like movies that are coming out. So you'd have like. If there was a movie coming out, it'd say coming soon. If the, if it was in theaters, it'd say you know out now, whatever. But I couldn't really do with that do that with banners or with a two by three wide space, so I had to do that. And when you get in, it is a. I really like this lobby. It is. Uh, I should mention that this is sort of based off uh, one near where I live, uh, the main one that I go to. Uh, it's not like entirely ripped off or whatever. It's just. Uh, what I could remember from in my head, and I just went from that. 
uh, just as an inspiration, but it's not like, it's not a rip off or anything. I just did it. And I'm using the Modern Textures H, uh, HQ, not HQ, HD. Uh, so that's, this is Crying Obsidian, believe it or not. And it looks really cool. And then these are the Soul Torches, the new ones. So it, it just fits perfectly with an arcade. So thought I'd do that. And you got some more posters, some vending machines. I use this design like everywhere throughout the whole cinemas and like a city design. And I don't, I don't know about you or like anywhere else in the world, but every cinema I've gone to always has like a big TV that plays like adverts and like trailers to the movies that are out. So I just thought I'd add that. And you got like a nice ceiling design and whatnot. And yeah. And then you have the like conf like the lines. Uh, I try to make it as big as possible because if you can see by the amount of car parks that there is, there's, there might be a lot of might be a lot of attraction to this place. So thought I'd add some big queue lines. And then you just have you j just your average sort of design for one of these places. This just you got a popcorn machine, some like fridges that have like the drinks. Uh, like the soda machines and yeah just a kitchen and like snacks here and whatever so this would be like the where you buy your movie ticket and this would be where you get your food and then you have a staff room out the back oh here we go and it connects out through here so and then this goes to the staff room uh well yeah there and just has some lockers for the workers uh, just like some seating areas, just TV uh, for when you're on your break or or whatever. You have a kitchen. I, I I have a lot of kitchens in this world, believe it or not. And then you have the the bathrooms. You got male, female. Not like a big bathroom, just like one toilet per like for male and female. And you got like a compost bin and a regular bin. And then you got the manager's office. This is where Paul is. Uh, he has a name tag, Paul the manager, but. Uh, it, I don't have the hut on so it doesn't show up but his name is Paul and he is the manager and the owner and the boss of this entire place and if you if you want to get interviewed to get a job here he'd interview you here so he's got some hay in here because he's a horse obviously what is he gonna eat and yeah that's basically it and then now we just have the stuff you just got bathrooms Regular bathrooms with mirrors, what, whatnot, and female version won't go in there. And you have the elevator that goes up to the top. I just made it so it's an elevator shaft and not the actual elevator because I couldn't be bothered. Um, and then you just got a nice painting. And yeah, so that's basically the lobby. And then you go up and then that's the elevator coming up. And you have uh, like a seating area. Basically, so if you come early and you get all your stuff and you're just waiting for your movie, uh, like you can't go through yet, you're waiting for your movie, you just sit down here, maybe eat a bit of popcorn before the movie starts, and yeah, so that's that's what I base this idea off. And you have the booth where the where the guy would stand or girl, uh, where you would go up and you give him the ticket, and then you could go through and that tell you which theater you're in. Uh, and there's a weird glitch going on with Bedrock since the new update and it just makes the render distance look really weird so I apologize for that. But just some vending machines here and you have a gold class sort of place so this would be like your top notch theater. You'd go in here and you could sit in here, be at a bar and like get some food here instead of like going to the regular theaters. Uh, this is in my my theater, so I thought I'd add it here. And you have just the kitchen, and something I really like is it's just like a hole to give to give the people who are bartending the food without going around. And just some toilets, same on the other side, and some, just some places to sit. And I made the lights really dim in here, so so it just gives it a bit of atmosphere. And then here you go into the first theater, and. The theatres are just duplicated, uh, I did the exact same thing, it took ages, but I did the exact same thing like nine different times, because there's nine theatres, there's one one here, the gold class, and then there's eight other theatres. So you go in here, you, you have two entrances, you have bins on either side for when you go out of the movies, and you just want to put them in the bin. And yeah, 
here, here's a theater. This is the same theater that's in all the other designs. So I probably won't go in all of them, but yeah, I, I really like the design. It's I like the design of these chairs. Um, I like the I like the lights specifically. I made I used the light block feature and I just did light block ten, light block five, uh, so it looks really dim. Um, it might be really dark for you guys, so I might turn the brightness up while at in like post in editing. But this is the only theater that has these like uh, these slabs in front of it, so it's like kind of like a recliner. But the and the other ones don't have that. I just thought I'd add that in the gold class one, a little bit more luxury. And yeah, it's pretty neat. It's pretty realistic. There's like the projector stuff. I'll go I'll go into detail with that later. Um, but yeah, it's pretty basic. But I really like the design. And you go out here, and this is the main hall. This is the the stairs that go and lead to the projector room. So I'll, I'll go to that last, and the server rooms, I suppose. And just some janitorial closets, just some closets to hold some stuff and whatnot. And then you just got your theaters. It's the exact same on every side, so I'll just, I don't know why, I'll just go through everything, just give a quick look. And yeah, I don't really need to do that anymore. So you just got some seats. Uh, it looks really bland without seats, so I just thought I'd add some. Most don't really have it, but you know, why not? And I really like the design that I did here with all the numbers. Looks pretty realistic. And there's vending machines everywhere, guys. I, I put them everywhere because I feel like every single theater, like right when you leave like the actual cinema, like when you leave out and go into the main, hallway there's always vending machines right next to right next to you and you have some more bathrooms i really like this design of the bathrooms uh, i don't know why it's nothing really in particular it's just sort of neat this is like the male one so it's got the urinals and then you go around the other side and it's just more more booths like this has three uh actually two and then the other one would have like five or so so nothing too much to see uh it just ends off right here and a design that I really enjoyed and really liked and like one of my favorite things that I did was I did some skylights in here and I, I reckon if it didn't have skylights it just wouldn't be the same and the skylights just make the build. And it, it goes down into another hallway over here which leads to 5 and 6 and you have some more closet, oh a closet there and some more vending machines with like drinks and snacks and yeah this one's just junk sort of in it so like so same theater as always just yeah basically copy and pasted i didn't copy and paste it but i spent a lot of time trying to get get it exact to what it is and you go up where the stairs it should be around here yeah here we are uh, on this side it's very it's very narrow like it's just a bunch of rooms just yeah just you know, massive hallway. You got toilets here, uh, male, female, and then you have uh, one gold class. So this is like the first theater with gold class. You have the projector here with some like cauldrons as like you'd have tapes in here, and then tapes on the shelf, and yeah, it just projects onto there. Um, and then same for this one, this one this one and then i'm pretty sure after this we have the server room which looks really neat yeah just this and then this goes up to the seventh one but there's not a door there because over here it goes to the server room which looks really nice because you can't really have a theater without a server room it doesn't like you wouldn't necessarily think about it but uh like it just makes sense to have it and i really like the design of it with the command blocks and all that stuff and then you got the projectors for five. Oh, actually, I didn't finish this. I should have done that. I forgot about it. Uh, but that's just a mistake. I'll get that done eventually. And then six. And then the only thing left, really, is up here and then the other side. So you go up here and it's roof access, basically. Uh, it's not crazy. I just did some HVAC units and some, like, air, some air places, like, for the air conditioning. And yeah, pretty basic, but it, it's really hard to just place it everywhere. And that's not really how it is. It's not like HVAC units, HVAC units, HVAC units everywhere. It's uh, it's spaced out, and and it's not everywhere. Uh, I I should have closed the door before, but 
whatever. Doesn't matter. My world. My rules. So you go down here, and then it's not the same on the other side, believe it or not, because I had to deal with uh, this because it slopes up, and it was really difficult to work that around. So you actually have the the toilet here, same as the last thing, just in a different spot. And then a hallway, two main room, and you know, so on and so forth. But then eventually when you get to here, you have the other server room. And this one's like locked up in a cage for some reason. I don't know, I've just seen it before. And other stuff, and more servers. And then this just leads to the final one. So, yeah, that's that's basically it. There's not much to it. Uh, it this is pretty much it. It's cinemas in Minecraft. They, well, and in real life, of course, obviously. Uh, they're just, it's only a couple unique things. It, it's just the lobby, some other little stuff, and then, and then theaters, but then the theaters, like, like a, there's a lot of them, <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, there's actually a just one more little thing, uh, and that's like the side. Um, here you have Ratplex Cinemas, just a, on a bigger logo, and then you have the storage place. Nothing really that special, just some boxes and some shelves. So, yeah, I was thinking of putting a truck there, but I just it didn't need to be there, and I might I might put some cars there eventually. Who knows? And then over here, you just have uh, just like the trash places. So you would have like a van delivering whatever. And then this would be like where all the trash would go. And then like trash guy would pick it up. Trash, whatever it's called, delivery people. I forgot what they're called, but whatever. You have the, the ladder with like whatever it is, like the barrier around it so you don't fall, even though it's kind of dumb, if you fall, you'd, you'd still fall and it would actually probably hurt more, but whatever, and this is just roof access from the outside, and yeah, not really much else to it, but if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.